Hey guys, Sarkat here, just going to run some quick maps I bought off Carrick for completion while chatting about what I've been up to in my SSF Caustic Arrow series. Haven't been playing as much as I'd like because it's mildly warm in the UK and I do not handle it being mildly warm in the UK very well at all. Um, I don't know what it is about the heat, but my brain just stops functioning in any... In it I was going to say any in every capacity, but it's not functioning at the best of times anyway. Uh, but yeah, I go into like negative IQ when it's mildly warm. It's strange. I don't know if it's as I've gotten older, I've gotten worse with it. Um, or if it's just the frequent temperature changes. But I spent quite a lot of time in very hot countries as a teenager. And uh, I was fine. But as I'm pushing 30, it's like, what's that? We've gained one degree. I need to go lie down on the sofa. <laughs> I just like, I don't function at all well. Um, I have been playing a little bit of Battle Brothers on the side actually as well, which uh, obviously hasn't helped with my lack of progress. I find that when things are hot and I want to just like play a video game, I, I want to spend 50 minutes over any decision so turn-based games yeah that's kind of my jam when it's hot i was a uh, big advocate of the game boy pokemon vibes when i was a kid on the beach that was <laughs> maybe i was never good with the heat maybe i've always been terrible with the heat and i just uh didn't know because when i was younger i would just always either be reading a book or playing pokemon so the amount of like mental capacity required was at an all-time low but anywho but yeah um, for the little path backs I have been playing, we've been coming along nicely, level 90 now. Um, the Atlas skill tree is starting to take shape. I've gotten the majority of my expedition nodes unlocked. I've got all of my syndicate nodes unlocked, so we've been getting those tasty unveils. Got a couple of Katarinas under my belt. As you can see, we've done the mini bosses and we're working our way up to the, uh, big boy bosses. So that's kind of nice. And, uh, yeah, all in all, it's just a case of... Play the video game as I can in the heat. Try not to melt too much. Apologies for any melting I will do in this video. And um, yeah, just slow and steady. It's one of the things that I do find particularly enjoyable about doing the like mid-league resets is even though I always play SSF from the beginning as a content creator, um, at a league start scenario, you're just like must make content, must make content, must play 12 hours a day. And it's, it's, it's not particularly sustainable. Um, so once I get to like, like week three, week four point, it is quite nice. Just like, hey, I'm maybe going to play like an hour today and be done with it. Um, it's very satisfying. Speaking of satisfying, I've been quite enjoying having uh, the occultist pop-ups. It's been a minute since I've played a build with uh, explosions. What do I want to go for? Essences. Because uh, I've been playing a lot of trappers recently and then like pathfinders and whatever Ooh, fracture items hey, very nice very very nice um i kind of want nah, screw. um yeah so it's just nice when you played a bunch of builds that don't have on death explosions then go to build with on death explosions it feels good it's a shame that i can't get both of those but i'll go that way instead pop some malevolence mm -mm. Boom, boom, boom. One thing I also cannot recommend enough as an aside. I watched the 13th Warrior for the first time last night. Um, I saw it randomly recommended on a uh, Reddit thread. And people were like, yo, this film slaps. And dude, this film slaps. It's, uh, I'm not going to say anything about it. Just, just watch it. 13th Warrior. Find it. Watch it. Enjoy. Good vibes. Good vibes. Uh, let's have a look. It's got that like very late, I think it was made in 99, late 90s, early 2000s, um, medieval epic sort of. It's, it's good, 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 good. Boom. All right, let's knock out this other map. And uh, I can already feel. I think it's also what doesn't help with this uh, heat vibes is I've got a water-cooled PC now. My old PC wasn't a water-cooled PC. And I think that the... The water... The water cooling... 
is is bad on my brain. See, this is what I was saying. My brain, my brain doesn't work. I've been recording for less than five minutes, and I'm already. <laughs> um. Yeah. So like, it makes the 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 hot air go out, and the cold air go in. So I feel like my PC is now some weird like occult life siphoning thing. Where it just like it sucks out all the good vibes out of my out of my house, and then it just shoots out hot, fiery hellfire, um, and brain go mush, um, brain go mush, Taki go play turn based game. <laughs> it's basically what, how 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 has the last week been? Brain go mush, Taki play turn base. Um, I need to get a um. I need to outsource my Path of Exile gameplay right now, I feel like. I, I need to... Or or I need air conditioning. That would that would probably also function. So, one of the things which is great about um, British architecture is we don't know what insulation is. So, everything is always either really, really cold or really, really hot. Um, yeah. <laughs> it feels like I've never been in a house in the UK where it's like, ah, I see this was designed in a clever way. <laughs> um, and I don't really understand how it functions because it's like in the summer, it feels like it just traps the heat. And you're like, okay, so heat doesn't get out. But then in the winter, it doesn't feel like it traps the heat. It feels like it just lets the cold in. I don't. I. I don't quite understand. If we've got any architects. Um, we've got any George Costanzas in in the comments. If you could explain to me. But like, how does that function, right? Because you think, if hot no go out, then cold should no. I guess. Wait. Hang on. Hang on. Hang on. Maybe I've got it. Is it because everything just comes in, and then I've got sloped roofs, so the heat gets trapped in the sloped roof? That makes sense to me. And then, because everything just comes in and everything just comes out, then, like... So, yeah. So, basically, I don't function well. It's mildly warm. I hope you're all doing well. And, um... The one good thing about British summers is they generally don't last more than a week. So, I'm hoping by next week, I will have gained competence. <sighs> have a good day. Bye-bye. <laughs>